What's up, guys? It's Alex here, and welcome to the 2020 NCAA tournament being simulated on NCAA Basketball 10. Today, we have our first second round matchup, the <laughs> first and second thing. We have six seed Penn State versus 14 seed Hofstra. Hofstra ended up upsetting Villanova in the first round. Three seeds went 0 and 4 against 14 seeds. That was an absolutely crazy first round. Hofstra won 26 to 23 there. And then Penn State absolutely destroyed UCLA, as you can see, 19 to 4. So this one should be pretty good. It should be a pretty interesting game. I think Penn State will probably end up winning, but you never know. This tournament's been crazy and we've seen tons of crazy upsets already. Who will get the first spot into the Sweet 16? Let's find out. Now remember, all of these rosters will be updated to how they were in 2009-2010 once we get to the Elite Eight. So if either one of these two teams ends up making it to the Elite Eight, you will see their actual, actual rosters from 2009-2010. But number six, Penn State. Number 14, Hofstra. First, round, or first game of the second round. Let's tip it off. Hofstra gets the opening tip, moving the ball around. Finding number two down low, he's probably going to turn and fire. He is going to the line, though. Penn State's coach was happy there, making him earn it at the stripe rather than having to go and get an easy bucket. Let's see if they can make their first. Oh, what? What happened there? I thought that was a foul on Penn State. I mean, they subbed out a player, so I thought he was already getting charged with a foul. That's some cheese, especially. And now Hofstra gets a foul called on them. If you are a Hofstra fan, you are absolutely furious right now. This game's second place at the Providence Arena. They lost first round to Arizona State, so that sucks for them. Whoosh. Penn State scores the first points of the second round of this 2020 NCAA tournament. And they get the second to go. D -d 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 defense. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, thanks for joining us tonight. Gus Johnson here alongside Bill Rafter. Hofstra fires, but they do not connect. Penn State looking to take advantage here, looking to get the pick and roll started. Their point guard dribbling it, looking in the paint. But, oh, I thought they were going to turn it over there. Penn State's able to hang on to the possession, looking to move the ball around here. Driving down low. There's a little bit of contact. No foul being called, though. Hofstra gets the rebound. Let's see if they can tie it up. And they turn it over. Hofstra's coach is furious over there. You can see him telling him that they need to penetrate and kick. Moving the ball along the perimeter, finding number 22, finding the point guard down low. Who misses? Penn State's coach is furious. You can see him over there. He wants them to swing the ball. They are not doing that so far this game. Let's see if they listen to their coach on the next possession. Hofstra looking to back down. Penn State here, not a whole lot of scoring in this game so far. About two minutes gone already, and there's only been two points scored, and both were on the course of free throws. Hofstra probably going to take a three. Okay. I thought they were going to pass it down low, but they rise and fire. They take the three and the lead. Hofstra is up three to two at the moment. Penn State working the pick and roll, driving and getting the foul. I think that's his second. Yep, LeVar Jeffrey's second foul. Whoosh. Both teams rely on the blue and white as their color, so fans throughout are mixed. And Penn State misses the second free throw, so we are tied at three with 2.47 left to go in this ballgame. 
Let's see if Hofstra can take their lead back. Hofstra has been the only... Oh, they, oh, they get the pass down low. A great pass. Great finish by Hofstra. They open up the 5-3 lead. Hofstra has got the only two buckets of the game so far. Their coach is pretty happy right there. Penn State takes a three, but they get the offensive rebound off the miss, and they lay it back in. We are now tied at five. Two minutes. You heard it from the announcers. Two minutes to go in the first half. Moving the ball around. It's been pretty low scoring so far. Let's see if Penn State can retake their lead. They take a three, and they get it to go. G. Samuel gets the points. He has six points already. Three of them at the line, three of them off that shot. Looking down low, Hofstra missing the shot, but they get the foul. They are heading to the line. Majoring in social sciences. This guy is a junior. He misses the first one. Hofstra can't be leaving these points at the line. They need as many as they can get. And they get the second. So it is eight to six now. Penn State, if you guys had watched my NCAA game simu simulation or whatever, dot com video, where Penn State actually won the national championship off of that, that video has like 23,000 views or something right now as I'm making this video which has been absolutely crazy. I think that's definitely been my most popular video of 2020 so far. I had no idea would it get so many views. But Hofstra looks down low. They get the basket to go. They tie it up at eight. About four minutes in the ball game, we are tied. Working the ball around on the perimeter. Let's see what Penn State can do here. Can they take the lead going into the break? They take a three. But misses. I think that was Samuel again taking the shot. So now Hofstra gets a chance to take the lead. Let's see if they do. And they are heading to the line. Penn State hacks them there. Let's see if they can actually make their free throw. C.O. Kessler is back at the line. He is one for two so far from the line in this ball game. It's the first one to go. And he gets the second. Hofstra takes the 10 to 8 lead. Penn State rises and fires, but they miss. But their center gets the offensive board, and he puts it back in to tie it back up at 10 with 25 seconds left to go in the ballgame. Let's see how Hofstra can respond. Are they going to save it for the final shot of the first half? They take the three, and they make it. Okay. I guess they had other plans than me. This one has been back and forth throughout, as you can see right there. Six lead changes, four ties. Biggest lead of the ball game is three. Let's see what Penn State does here before the break. They shoot the three to tie it up, and they miss. Samuel has been shooting almost every shot for them. So we are going into the break with the 14 seed up 13 to 10. It's just been a story of two separate teams right now, as you can see. Hofstra is shooting 67% right now. Penn State only 30%. I feel like that's going to change here in the second half, and Penn State will probably end up getting the victory. But you never know. We've seen some crazy games so far in the first round. Will that continue here in the second half? Looking down low, Hofstra rising, firing, and not connecting. Game trends haven't changed since we saw that last one at the end of the first half. 
I wish they would show that more often throughout the course of the games. I think it's really fun to take a look at. Moving the ball around. They find, oh, jeez, it got rejected big time there. Hofstra tries to save it. That was a big block by Hofstra. Good, good for them. But Penn State does get the ball back off of that. There's basically a whole new possession here. Let's see what they do. 13 seconds left on the shot clock. Not a whole lot of time to work with. Working the pick and roll. And they turn it over. Hofstra, if only they weren't. Oh, they oh they are going to take it in transition. I thought that guy was going to be slow. But Hofstra slams it home. As you can see, they are now on a 10-2 to run. They have been absolutely on fire as of late. But that may be more so Penn State just going ice cold. Maybe a mix of both. Penn State looking down low. Number 12, Samuel, again shooting and missing. But he gets his own rebound and puts it back in. He is keeping them in this ball game. I mean, he's the only one playing basically for Penn State right now. 15 to 12 with 3.30 to go. Looking down low. Drawing the foul. Almost getting the end one. Lavar Jeffrey is back in the ball game after getting two early fouls. Can't be leaving these points at the line if you're Hofstra. He misses both of them. Maybe they need to sub him back out. Oh, Penn State with the outlet pass. Samuel gets it to go. Penn State is now back within one. The up-tempo style matches Hofstra just a little bit. Actually, I can't really tell. Both teams are pretty blue. I think it was Hofstra. But now they look down low, rise up, take the shot, and they get it to go. They were getting a little bit cold there, but they now extend that lead back to three. Still a one-possession game with three minutes to go. This one can go either way. Looking down low, number 22 rises, fires, but misses. Hofstra gets the rebound. Looking down low, number 22 fading away, does not connect. Penn State gets the rebound, looking to push the ball up the floor. Will they be able to tie it here or maybe even just bring it to within one? Looking down low, number 25 gets it to go. 17-16 with under two and a half to go. This one is coming down to the wire. Hofstra moving the ball around on the perimeter. Now he's looking to drive, going behind the back. Rising from the free throw line, gets it to go. Hofstra now up 19-16. Will we see a 14 seed in the Sweet 16 right off the bat? I would love to see it. I'm sure Penn State fans do not want to see it. And they miss, though. Hofstra with a chance to take a two-possession lead late in this ballgame. Looking down low. They almost turn it over, but they get it back. They put it in a broken play. Hofstra now takes the 21-16 lead. The first round was full of upsets. Will the second one be two? Penn State, Samuel rises for the three, and he gets it to go. Maybe the refs missed a foul call there. Could have been a four-point play, but either way, Samuel brings Penn State to within two. Looking down low, Hofstra gets it to go. Gus Johnson said the same thing as me. Penn State's taken 19 shots, but they've only made seven of them. One minute to go. And Penn State slams it home. What a great drive by them now. Hofstra looking to respond. They are up by two. We did not have a single overtime game in the first round. Will we see our in the first one of the second? Hofstra misses. Penn State now gets the chance to tie it or even potentially take the lead with 38 seconds left. They are driving, kicking out. I don't know why he didn't shoot it while he was down there, but Samuel now spinning. Gets it to go. Penn State ties it up. We are tied at 23 with 30 seconds to go in this ball game. It has been back and forth throughout. Hofstra pick and rolling, driving, and drawing the foul. Penn State fouling with 25 seconds left. Clutch free throws here for Bob Woodson. 
He misses the first one. Hofstra has missed four free throws in this ball game. And he gets a second one to go, though. Penn State down by one. Let's see what they do. Hofstra looking to trap him in the backcourt, giving him issues. They are able to get the ball out, though. Shot clock is turned off. What will Penn State do here? 12 seconds to go, down by one. Are they going to save it for the last shot? They are spinning and driving, and they get it to go. They get the spinning layup. 25-24. Hofstra takes the timeout. This one's coming down to the wire. Stay tuned for after this timeout, which you guys will see it in like one second anyway. All right, here we go. Coming out of the timeout, will Hofstra be able to win this ball game? We have five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. They're going to have to pull up. They lose the ball. They get the shot off. And it does not fall. Penn State survives. They survive the upset bid by Hofstra. Wow. <laughs> Hofstra almost turned it over. They got the shot off, though. That's not what they drew up in the timeout. Penn State survives by one point. Grant Samuel, player of the game, he was great throughout. 15 points for Penn State. On behalf of the CBS Sports team, EA Sports crew, and Bill Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson. Thanks for watching. So Penn State is the first one to punch their picket to the Sweet 16. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next game.